Welcome to the Town Square, where we're going to talk about the innate immune system's response to viruses. We've already discussed some mechanisms that the innate immune system can use to defend against viruses outside the cell, like the complement system. But once the virus is inside the cell, well, that's it. Game over. We're screwed. Just kidding. We have millions of years of evolution to thank for keeping us meat bags alive. So let's talk about these intracellular defenses. And just as a reminder, we're talking about the innate immune system, so we're not going to talk about antibodies or B cells or T cells or any of that. Inside the town square, life is normal. It's got normal townsfolk, and they're all wearing badges around their neck that say MHC1, which stands for Medieval Healthy Citizen, of course. For now, let's focus on this baker who's munching on a random apple pie he found on the ground. And if that pie looks a little odd, that's because it is odd. It's a pie with virus-shaped apples. And our previously normal baker here, who's eating this virus apple pie, represents a cell that's just been invaded by a virus. Possessed even, you might say. He's glowing red and he's baking even more of those virus pies. This means the virus has taken over the host cell, hijacked its machinery, and is now trying to replicate itself. Lesson learned, don't eat random apple pies, my friends. Eventually, these newly made viruses will burst out of the infected cell and go on to infect other cells. And that means that we gotta stop those virus pies from getting into the mouths of our unsuspecting townsfolk, or else we're gonna have more infected people who will infect more people, and you get the idea.